I think it was Charlemagne or somebody said like, yo, you sound like Travis Scott on the Liddy record. And a lot of people were saying, you sound like this nigga. And they were saying like, I sounded like Fetty Wap and like a lot of a whole bunch of other people like on my album and stuff. And I remember just saying like, yo, like I can't sound like anybody that I wrote for, period, point blank. Like, and I wrote for a lot of people. You dig what I'm saying? So when I said that, um, whatever the case is, I guess he took it away and boom, uh, we had Malaluna, the festival, we had it together. I just get off stage. You know what I mean? I'm super. Like, when I get off stage, when I'm in the crowd, I'm in, it, my adrenaline is on level a thousand. Like, a thousand. Like, like I have too much. Like, I wouldn't fight me. I wouldn't even come up to me, like, in those times. Like, I wouldn't. My, my brain is not in the right mind. I will do something very bad to you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not even, I'm small, but I will do something. My adrenaline level is at a different level. So... It comes to a point where I get off stage and, you know, um, I'm in the room and I'm sitting there, I'm talking to uh, my, my, my dog. He's sitting in the room and Travis busts in the room. Yo, come talk to me, blood. Da 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 da. Come talk to me outside. I said, I was going to talk to him, but then I felt like he was being a little too disrespectful. So I, I didn't talk to him outside. I told his man to bring him back inside. We not, over here at Umbrella, we not taking that. And, you know, whatever our situation happens, and I just, like, just to brief it up, whatever happens, he came in there and he was he was charged up, and I was charged up. And it came to a point where I was just like, yo, my nigga, like, let's fade it out. Let's just fade it out. Let's just, let's, let's fade it out. And I, I think that originally when he came in there, his whole, his, he, the plan was never for us to be faded in the first place. It was just like, nigga, what the fuck? I think his plan was to just be like, yo, my nigga, like, what the fuck are you doing? Which I, I completely understand, you know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, like, I kind of, I, I get it from his standpoint. It's like, people are going to take it this way. So why even say it, you know what I'm saying? Check it up, son. Check it out now. Oh, hell no, man. I'm telling you, man, you could tell that Tory Lanez is about that catch of fade action just by how he play basketball. Man, Tory Lanez is a five foot three midget that got a receding hairline. That jumper look like it's a fifty five mile created player on goddamn NBA Two K eighteen. You think he ain't trying to catch a fade whenever he get a hard foul? Fuck out of here now. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I heard this lyric because I didn't even know he had beef with Travis Scott until I heard the lyric on his new album, Memories Don't Die. But it was the lyric where he said him and Travis almost fought. Now, this is what he said on Hate to Say. He said, me and Travis almost fought at the Mala Luna. What the fuck is that? Is that some rich nigga shit or a festival? He says, we both agreed shortly after that it was just music we possibly could be doing that's bigger than trying to ruin it. So my apologies, nigga, just forgive me for doing it. Now, clearly, I know why he's apologizing, because he wanted all the smoke. Now, I'm not too sure what happened before the video. Salute the World Star, they got the exclusive on that. However, I will say this, all right? Basically, I've been calling Tory Lanez Tory Flame. Come on, man. We know Tory sounds a little bit like Travis Scott. 
and it's because his voice or whatever effect is done to it, it's kind of like a Travis Scott vocal effect, okay? However, if you listen to people, just like when I thought Trippy sounded like Uzi, sometimes to categorize and understand why you might like something, you say it sounds like the next thing that's even close. However, listening to Tory Lanez more and more, I don't think he sounds that much like Travis Scott. Okay, now I'm not too sure also if Travis Scott one of the niggas that Tory Lanez claimed he wrote for, but... What I do know is that on Uber Everywhere, the remix, Tory Lanez actually name-checked Travis Scott, okay? He says, rounding up the bitches like I'm Nino, took this flow from Travis, I know, he know, straight up, okay? I will say, I gotta give credit to Tory Lanez for standing on his own, too. Basically, he wasn't gonna get punk from nobody. He's out here debo and niggas like Drake is. Nigga, I took your style, what's up? What's up? What up, nigga? What up? Okay, now, uh, I'm not going to lie, clearly somebody from Tory Lanez can't leak this because this don't make Travis Scott look no type of good. Travis Scott out here looking like, I get them goosebumps every time Tory come around. Basically, man, it's not a good look for Travis. Not a good look for Travis at all, okay? However, I'm glad that these guys put whatever issues they have behind them, and I'm hoping that Tory, whoever in this camp, because it looked like it might have been his bus or whatever, I'm hoping that they didn't leak it on some real stupid shit because why even bring those problems back up? I'm hoping this is just some random nigga who had the footage who then probably sold it to Worldstar and now it came out because we heard about it in Lyric, okay? We just kind of imagined something happened, but we didn't look at each other and try to say who looks bad or who looks good. Clearly from the clip, Tory looks good, okay? Travis Scott, I don't know, looked like he should be at home changing diapers, and that's my guy, but goddamn, that nigga looked like he wanted all the smoke and looked like you may have confronted him not wanting all the smoke, okay? Again, I like both of these guys. Travis Scott's supremely talented. I'm not too sure if this gets escalated now that the video is out because, again, sometimes you can sell an issue, but when the fans start seeing video clips... It's like it just happened all over again. So I'm hoping this is really dead, and I'm hoping both men can move on past this and also do music in the future. We will see. I do agree with Tori, though, when he said in the lyric, he says y'all could be doing bigger things. I do believe they could be doing bigger things in music. We'll see if it happens. Get a comment box, what you guys like them, subscribe, what you guys think of this clip, man. What do you think about that clip? Man, I'm telling you, yo, Tory Lanez is that nigga who looked like he asked for a fade after every hard foul, okay, in a one-on-one. You let me know, though. Get a comment box, you boy, Jack Academics. Oh,